Greetings, Pisces. As we close this horoscope, this is, you're entering into the dream space, and this is a space that you're much more comfortable with. Now, the 12th house isn't an easy place to navigate. They say that Pisces is a sign of karma, all kinds of accumulated karma. Some people, you know, the symbol of the fish in the Christian movement, it's a lot about karma. Of course, they, you know, the fundamentalists will renounce any kind of Eastern knowledge, you know, fundamentalists anything, fundamentalists, Jews, Muslims, whatever. Uh, all I can say is get over yourself. Nobody's got a right to own any religion. Nobody's got a right to own any philosophy, even atheism. We're all here just learning. We're just beings learning. And that's the real message of Aquarius is that knowledge, folks, knowledge. Keep, keep learning. Don't stop. You know, this is a time for that. You're one of the most sensitive and intuitive signs in the Zodiac. You've got the good fortune of Jupiter being in your fifth house right now and Neptune in your first house. You can dissolve the lies and expose the truth like nobody else can. And you move so gently and so gracefully that we're going to see some really good things. I would say the best thing for you to do this week is keep a dream journal. Even if it's lucid dreaming, what you imagine is important. <coughs> Pay off debts. Make good karma so you'll have a better future. It's been wonderful being with you this week. We'll do it again next week on the Planetary Persuader.